This is one of the first examples of the all-new Genesis Electrified GV70 and today we're getting our hands on a pre-production model ahead of customer deliveries in a few months. We're at a private testing facility but we've only got a short amount of time. So come with us for a quick look at this all-new electric mid-size luxury SUV. Officially on sale from the third quarter of 2022, the electrified GV70 will be offered here in a single high-spec trim grade, with a price tag set to land somewhere between $105,000 and $115,000, making it at least 20k more expensive than the petrol V6 all-wheel drive model on which it's based. From launch, every electric GV70 will be all-wheel drive and powered by two electric motors, one for each axle. They produce combined outputs of no less than 360 kilowatts and 700 newton meters, which Genesis claims is enough to propel the midsize SUV to triple digits in just 4.2 seconds in boost mode. The GV70 EV can go the length too, with a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery that's able to deliver more than 450 kilometers of driving range and recharge via a 350 kilowatt fast charger claimed to take you from 10 to 80% charge in less than 20 minutes. From the outside, the electrified GV70 doesn't look outrageously different to the petrol and diesel GV70s already on sale in Australia. Of course, there are no exhaust outlets at the rear, but at the front, you'll notice key differences like this enclosed crest grille with the charge port somewhere around here. And from the side, you'll notice 20 inch wheels, which are exclusive to the EV. Pretty much the same goes inside the cabin. Aside from an instrument cluster that will display EV information rather than fuel consumption, the electric SUV is just as spacious, luxurious and refined as before. The other item reserved for the electric GV70 is this boost mode button. One press of that will feed you maximum power for 10 second increments. Genesis will offer three interior colour options, however heated and ventilated seating up front will come standard, along with heating for the outboard rear seats. Carryover tech includes this huge intuitive 14.5 inch touchscreen, which features smartphone mirroring, digital radio, 3D maps and live traffic updates. The electrified GV70 isn't underpinned by Hyundai Group's new EV platform, instead it uses a modified version of the SUV's existing platform. That means there's still a small transmission tunnel on the floor, but overall there's as much room here as you'll find in the petrol or diesel version of this car. Genesis has managed to package the electric SUV's battery so that it doesn't hinder boot space, where the electric GV70 provides an identical 542 litres of cargo space. Of the two electric cars Genesis Australia is launching in mid-2022, this, the electrified GV70, is the lightest and quickest. So if you're after a sporty drive or you like to go really fast, this will be the one to get. My God, this thing is so quick. It's zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.2 seconds, and it's so good at cornering. I mean, you still get a little bit of body roll. It is an SUV at the end of the day, but it just corners so well. It holds to the road really well. It hasn't got the official suspension tune yet because this is a pre-production model. So things will be a little bit different when the production cars launch in about July, 2022. We have noticed there's a little bit of torque steer up front. This is an all wheel drive car and you certainly feel it thrust off the line. You've got that all poor grip to just get you out of corners really well. But yeah, there is a little bit of torque steer up front and it kind of wanders around under really heavy acceleration. But just like we noticed in the electrified G80, the brake pedal is still really responsive and feels like more like a regular car than some electric cars that have like a sort of spongy brake pedal. I like that this is sort of natural feeling. As an initial taste and keeping in mind we're on a private test track, not out on the public roads where there's potholes and road imperfections, it's pretty impressive. It's capable, it's smooth over bumps. It just feels confident, grippy, fast. It's a really cool thing. The regular GV70 SUV is already a good thing. And in terms of dynamics, we reckon it's on par with Euro rivals like the BMW X3, Audi Q5 and Mercedes-Benz GLC. 
And if production versions of the electrified GV70 can match combustion engine counterparts, it'll be on the money. Thanks for joining us for a first look at this prototype Genesis electrified GV70 and stay tuned for a full in-depth review in the coming months.